Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and I'm gonna just do a real quick video on the uh, industrial sewing machine. So this is a Juki, but um, regarding the bobbin winder right here, this is a manual bobbin winder by pushing this. Uh, when the wheel turns, then you're gonna have this part turn too and you wind the bobbin. Uh, now, some of you might have a problem with the spindle right here. There is a spindle and sometimes if you put some of the bobbins in there, uh, when this turns, the bobbin does not turn. And the reason is because the spindle, it's, uh, it's you see there is a slit right here. If you do a close up, right exactly. You see that slit? We gotta make sure that this slit is opened up so it could hold the uh, bobbin all the way. So when you put the bobbins in there, it will hold it tight, and uh, the thread comes from here, toward the bobbin, from left to right, turn once or twice, and then you pull, push this down, and then when you bobbin turn, when the, uh, the sewing machine is working, it will turn the bobbin, and it will turn the thread. But if this is not tight, it's close, then this bobbin will just turn by itself and the thread won't turn. So we want to make sure that this is open, wide open, so when you put in the bobbin in there, it will just go in there and it's tight. So this could work for all different type of industrial sewing machine. Uh, Juki, Nutek, Console, Econosaur, any brand you have this work. This is a, uh, a, uh, uh, Juki DDL8700, but it works all the same on all the industrial sewing machine. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, and uh, thumbs up. Thank you for watching.